Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Alien Romulus number one. This is a one-shot from Marvel and 20th Century Studios. Uh, of course, a tie-in into the recent Alien film, Alien Romulus. Um, this is the definitive prequel to the blockbuster film. Uh, features a foreword by Fede Alvarez, director of the film, and one of the co-writers of the original film. Um, one thing that people have asked me, so I'll clear this right up the bat. So in the foreword, Fede Alvarez mentions that you can read this before you even watch the film. Um, I, myself, uh, I had already seen the film, so I had no way to go back and you know erase that from my mind. But I think the book really works on both levels. So I don't think you'll be disappointed whether you watch the film. I do feel like if you watch the film first, there's there's kind of like one little thing that it's kind of a surprise, but it is a it is an adaptation from comic to film. So maybe maybe everything won't be like as plain as it was. I think I think I put the connection together because I had already seen the film. Uh, but anyways, let's talk about the creative team here before I get too deep into this book. Uh, this book is uh, got a story, of course, by Federer Alvarez and Rod Sayagis, who who worked on the original film. Uh, but this book is written by Zach Thompson. With art by Daniel Picciotto, Picciotto uh, Yen Nitro and Colors, letters by Clayton Cowles. Um, as you might have noticed, uh, I don't have, I didn't have the, so normally I get a, a, a digital, um, uh, a digital copy of the book with the purchase, but it looks like for this one, we're not getting the digital uh, bonus copy. So I had to read it. Uh, I had to read it analog, and also I had to get the the cover page. I just had to take a picture of it because that was not one of the assets online. Uh, but anyways, you don't want to know how all these videos. You don't want to know how the sausage is made. Um, this book is pretty great. I really enjoyed it. I think it adds a lot to the existing alien mythology of the film. Uh, I don't know how well it stands on its own. I think it's still a cool one shot. Like. If there was no movie attached to this, I think there's still a cool one shot. So let me give you the synopsis that Marvel has provided. Following the theatrical release of the highly anticipated blockbuster Alien Romulus, Marvel presents an all new story revealing secrets of the film's legendary antagonist. How did Xenomorphs find Rain, Andy, and their scavenger crew? Familiar faces lurk in the shadows, and this issue shines a light on them. Horror master Zach Thompson collaborates directly with the filmmakers for this must-have collector's item. See Alien Romulus in theaters August 16th. I wonder if this was supposed to come out before. Uh, it, it, it Now I kind of feel like this probably got delayed and should have came out before the film instead of when the movie's out digitally now. So interesting. Interesting to read that after this reading the synopsis. But yeah, this book is great. Um, I don't know much about uh, Daniel Picciotto's art. Uh, other than I really enjoyed it here. I think it really fits the world. Uh, he doesn't go specifically for like hyper-realistic character models. Specifically, there is some crossover. If you've seen the film, there's some crossover with a few characters or a few things that are not specifically photorealistic, if you will. Uh, but I think it still works. It works very well. So I was very excited for that. Uh, let me pull up some of the art here. As you can see, we have all the alien tropes, the ship, the xenomorph cocoon. We have uh, the scientists, the Marines uh, working on everything. And of course, all the secrets that come with that, right? I think Bichotto really captures the essence of uh, the xenomorph and the design. Uh, there's, I love this moment of the, like a spasm in this body of the xenomorph that's been kind of frozen in time. Uh, that scares everyone in the crew. Uh, that feels like, you know, you, you want to jump scare in your movie. That's kind of how you do it. Uh, obviously, translating that to a book, it's a little bit different. Uh, and then these are not all in order. Uh, actually, Marvel provided uh, some of the, the preview pages that Marvel provided are some of the most action heavy. But there's a lot of dialogue here, which is very interesting. I think Zach Thompson is a very good writer that really captured um the mood and the dialogue from these characters so yeah i quite enjoyed this book uh i highly recommend it especially if you enjoyed the film i think 
you're going to have a good time with this. It adds a little bit more to that world. Um, and you kind of get to see some how some of the pieces fit in the larger picture. Not so much a link between Alien and Alien Romulus, uh, but at least a, a little bit of a bridge to kind of get you from one place to the other, right? This movie takes place between the first and the second Alien films. Uh, so this provides a little bit more insight on how that first film um, slightly exists within the same universe. Uh, so, and of course, very cool cover. Uh, there's a lot of really cool variants, including one that's just like the poster of the film. Uh, so we'll show you that at the end of the video. So if you have read this book, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments as always. Thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.